Welcome back to Crime Update Files in London, covering the sum of the latest criminal offenses. If this is your first a special welcome to you. Police are appealing for witnesses after a report of a sexual assault against a teenage girl on a bus in Hastings. Officers were made aware of the assault in the vicinity of Herald Place at just after 7.3 am this morning May 5. A 25-year-old man from Hastings has been arrested on suspicion of sexual assault. He remains in police custody at this time. Officers are continuing to conduct inquiries in the area. Anyone who was on the number 2, 0 bus at the time and witnessed the incident is asked to contact Sussex Police online or by calling 101 quoting serial 236 of May 5. A man from Ipswich has been given a three-year prison sentence as well as a five-year criminal behavior order for drug dealing. Bradley Williams, 27, from Bernard Square, Ipswich, was sentenced at Ipswich Crown Court on Friday, April 28 after pleading guilty to being concerned in the supply of cocaine and possession of cannabis. The criminal behavior order places conditions on Williams' possession and use of mobile phones. Criminal behavior orders pose or orders on conviction that can be given for any criminal offenses heard in Crown, Magistrates or Youth Courts. The order prohibits the offender from doing anything described in the order and can be used to prevent specific acts which cause harassment, alarm or distress. Williams was arrested on October the 18th last year after evidence recovered during a search of his home address showed he was involved in the sale of cocaine. Two men have today May the 4th been jailed for murdering a good Samaritan who came to the aid of teenage girl. Reese Radford, 26, was stabbed when he intervened after seeing a 17-year-old girl being assaulted in Sheffield City Center on September the 29th last year. He sadly died six days later. A post-mortem examination concluded that he died as a result of a single stab wound to the chest. Derek Oyusu, 40, of Strathmore Grove. Rutherham and Lewis James, 46, of Manor Lane, Sheffield were found guilty of murder on April 5, following a three-week trial at Sheffield Crown Court. Oyusu was sentenced to a minimum of 15 years in prison. James was sentenced to a minimum of 25 years in prison. In a statement read out in court, his mum Laura Radford said her family had been shattered by his death. She said, it was not just my son who was killed that night. My family was killed, my heart is broken. A police investigation has been launched following the death of a man in Barnsley. Officers were called by Yorkshire Ambulance Service shortly after 6.3 am today May 6 after a man was found seriously injured at a property on Springwood Road in the Hoyland area. Police attended the scene and sadly a 38-year-old man was pronounced deceased at the scene. His family has been informed and is being supported by specially trained officers. An investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death has now been launched. A 48-year-old woman has been arrested on suspicion of murder and remains in police custody at this time. A Rutherham man who raped two children has been jailed for 12 years. Thomas Brooks, 30, raped his two victims, who cannot be identified for legal reasons, on multiple occasions while they were both under the age of 13. Detective Constable Emma Parsons from Rutherham said throughout our investigation and this legal process, Brooks has shown absolutely no remorse and has refused to accept responsibility for the sick sexual abuse he inflicted upon his victims. Brooks's custodial sentence will not undo the damage he has caused to his victims, and we know that sexual abuse at any age can have an incredibly harmful impact. However, it is my sincere wish that knowing he is now behind bars for his awful crimes means that they feel they can begin to process what has happened and take a step forward. Brooks, formerly of Cambridge Crescent, East Dean, was found guilty of nine counts of rape of a child under 13 following a four-day trial at Sheffield Crown Court earlier this year. It goes out to the victims of these horrific criminal offences across the UK. We hope you will continue to like and subscribe and follow our weekly videos. Now is a good time to click that like button below it's free.